Before we jump into routing, there is a foundational topic we need to touch upon to understand routing better. The topic is React Server Components or RSC. React Server Components is a new architecture introduced by the React team in version 18, which was quickly embraced by Next.js. The architecture introduces a new way of creating React components, splitting them into two types, server components and client components. We will dive deeper into these component types as we progress, but for now, just keep in mind the following key points. In Next.js, all components are server components by default. They have the ability to run tasks like reading files or fetching data from a database. However, they don't have the ability to use hooks or handle user interactions. To create a client component, it is necessary to add use client at the top of the component file. Unlike server components, client components can't perform tasks like reading files, but they have the ability to use hooks and manage interactions. Client components are the traditional React components we are familiar with and have used in all prior versions of React. In the upcoming routing section, we will explore examples where we use server components that await certain actions to finalize before rendering content on the screen, and we will also see examples where we use client components to leverage hooks from the routing module. But having this super high-level background of RSCs will go a long way in better understanding the routing feature. Of course, if none of this makes sense, don't worry about it. We will understand everything there is to RSCs later in the series. All right, with this in mind, let's get started with Next.js routing in the next video.